Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosca with the TMC Newsroom, and welcome to A Week in Social, your outlet for all the latest news in the most popular social media networks of today. With more than 500 million active users on Facebook, the social media site is starting to crack down on those who don't belong. In what seems like an online version of curbing underage drinking, Facebook is outing more than 20,000 users per day, and most of them are being kicked out because of their age. With an age restriction of 13 and under, the social media site realized that underage users were taking advantage of the network. While Facebook doesn't currently employ any technology to prevent users from lying about their age when signing up, Facebook Chief Privacy Advisor Moselle Thompson is going along with Australia's Cyber Safety Committee and is now giving kids the boot. How Facebook is selecting these profiles remains a mystery. However, Thompson notes that the system is not perfect. The 20,000 removals cover a variety of policy violations, including spam, inappropriate content, and underage use. Speaking of Facebook members in trouble, last week you may remember news of a man arrested after posting a status after robbing a bank. When will people ever learn that Facebook is a public forum? Apparently, Richard Barton didn't learn his lesson either when he was arrested last week for polygamy charges after posting his wed wedding photos on his Facebook profile. You may be asking yourself, what's wrong with posting pictures on, of your wedding? Well, the 34-year-old man from Michigan showcased pictures of his recent nuptials but simply forgot one important detail that his first wife, to whom he was still legally married, had access to his profile. Adina Cuarto, with whom Barton has a six-year-old son, called the police after seeing Barton's posting on his page, shortly after Barton was arrested. According to Cuarto, Barton didn't feel like going through the legalities of the divorce, saying he wanted to ignore the situation and pretend that Cuarto didn't exist. Twitter may have just celebrated its fifth birthday, but that doesn't mean its members are staying true to the site. According to a new study, only 58% of all tweets come from official Twitter clients. This is according to a report by social media analytics tracker SysOsmos, and it may conflict with a claim made by Twitter that an overwhelming percentage of tweets com comes from official apps. Twitter's Ryan Sarver claimed that according to the company's data, 90% of active Twitter users use official Twitter apps on a monthly basis. Twitter defines official as applications it owns and operates for the Mac, iPad, Android, and Windows Phone. The most popular third-party apps were TweetDeck, accounting for 5.5% of all tweets and 13.1% of all tweets from non-official apps, followed by Uber Social and Echophone, all of which are owned by Uber Media. If you aren't already familiar with Foursquare, it may be time for you to check in. The mobile location-based social networking company, which just launched, launched the third generation of its application, may be gearing up for a third round of financing that could potentially value the company at more than $1 billion. Foursquare reportedly held an all-staff brainstorm session last week at its New York City headquarters, where they filled up 15 sheets with Q2 ideas according to CEO Dennis Crowley, who tweeted after the meeting. Foursquare now has 7.5 million users, up from 500,000 a year ago. After word of new ideas for the next quarter, chances are the company needs to raise more money. The company may also be attracting acquisition offers in the near future. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Stephanie Mosca. Thanks for joining me today for A Week in Social. Make sure to check back next Monday for another installment of all the latest social media news.